Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The right of kinship. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Be mindful of Allah, in whose name you make requests of one another. Beware of serving the ties of kinship. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. Having a good relationship with relatives and kinship is a sign of the perfection of one's faith and good Islam. This good relationship is achieved through having communications and visits between relatives giving charity to the poor amongst them and pardoning those who show indifference from amongst them. Because Allah, because all this contributes to strengthening the bonds of social relations in the whole society. Therefore, there is a call to recognize one's relatives so that a person can fulfill their rights. Umar ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, said, learn your genealogy, then have communication with your kinship. The value of good relationship with relatives is essential in Islam. The word kinship in Arabic is derived from the root Rahima, which is a root for the beautiful name of Allah Ar-Rahman, the most beneficent. This is why Allah promised great reward for those who maintain good relation with their relatives. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Allah created all the creatures, and when he finished that, Ar-Rahim, or Ar-Rahim kinship said, O oh Allah, at this place I seek refuge with you again as serving my ties. Allah said, Are you satisfied with that I treat with kindness those who treat you with kindness and sever ties with those who sever ties with you? It said, I am satisfied. Allah said, Then you have that kinship will testify on the day of resurrection for those who kept good relationship with their relatives and will testify against those who severed the ties of kinship with their relatives. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, kinship will come on the day of judgment either testifying for the one who used to maintain connections his relatives or against the one who used to cut off relation with his relatives this is why the glorious quran pays much attention for having good relations with relatives the almighty allah said give to close relatives their due rights also allah said worship allah joying nothing with him be good to your parents to relatives to orphans to the needy in another verse allah said allah commands justice doing good and generosity towards relatives thus spending on the needy from among one's close relatives is a very emphasized duty and its reward is multiplied as the prophet peace be upon him said giving charity to a poor person is charity and giving it to a relative is two things charity and upholding the ties of kinship when this ayah was revealed, none of you believers will attain true piety unless you give out of what you cherish. Abu Talha came to a messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and said, Allah says in his book, By no means shall you attain righteous unless you spend in Allah's cause of that which you love. And the dearest of my property is the garden of Bayruha. So I have given it as charity for Allah's sake, and I anticipate its reward with him. So spend it, O Messenger of Allah, as Allah guides you. Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Well done. This is profit earning profit earning property. I have heard what you have said, but I think you should spend it on your nearest relatives. So Abu Talha, may Allah be pleased with him, distributed it among relatives and cousins. 
Maintaining good relationship with one's relatives has great virtues in this life and the afterlife. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Whoever loves that he be granted more wealth and that his age is extended should deal with kindness with, this, with his close relatives. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, Keeping good relation with relatives, having good manners, and being good with neighbors bring blessing in one's home and increases one's age. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, O people, extend greetings, keep relations with your kin, provide food to people, and pray at night when people are asleep, so that you will enter paradise in peace. Once a man asked the Prophet, peace be upon him, saying, O Messenger of Allah, inform me of a deed which will make me enter paradise. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, You should worship Allah and join none in worship with him. You should offer prayers perfectly, give obligatory charity, zakah, and keep good relationships with your relatives. A man came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and said, O Messenger of Allah, I have been afflicted by a heinous sin. Is there any repentance for me? He said, Do you have your mother? The man said, No. He said, Do you have any maternal aunts? The man said, Yes. He said, then be dutiful to her. Having a good relation with relatives shall not be complete until it includes all the relatives, even those who do not show such conduct. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The person who perfectly maintains the ties of kinship is not the one who does, not, does it because he gets recompensed by his relatives for being kind and good to them. But the one who truly maintains the bonds of kinship is the one who persists in doing so even though the latter has severed the ties of kinship with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The highest, from char the highest form of charity is the charity given to a relative who does not love you. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. There is no doubt that whoever observes the rights of his relatives and responds to the command of Allah and his messenger, he will win in this life and the hereafter. However, he who, so, uh, he who severs the ties of his relatives will get great loss. The Almighty Allah said, If you turn away now, could it be that you will go on the spread corruption, go on to spread corruption all over the land and break your ties of kinship? These are the ones Allah has rejected, making their ears deaf and their eyes blind. In another verse, Allah said, But there will be rejection for those who break their confirmed agreements made in Allah's name, who break apart what Allah has commanded to be joined, and who spread corruption on earth. There, theirs is the dreadful home. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, There is no wrong action more likely to to bring punishment in this world in addition to what is stored up in the next world than oppression and severing ties of kinship. Our true religion forbids a Muslim from abandoning his Muslim fellows for more than three days. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, It is not lawful for a Muslim to desert, stop talking to his brother beyond three nights, the one turning one way and the other turning to the other way when they meet. The better of the two is the one who is the first to greet the other. Thus, this instruction is more stressed among relatives. A sane person is the one who responds to the words of our Prophet, peace be upon him. The better of the two is one who is the first to greet the other. We ask Allah to implant love in our hearts and remove hatred from our hearts. We ask Allah to protect Egypt and raise its flag high among all countries of the world.